Black Lives Matter. I have faith in you. Educate yourself. Educate others. Share your experiences, your stories. Are you kidding me? Like, nah. This one's a bit jokes, isn't it? I'm sorry, but it's just not flattering on me, is it? It's... Oh, sweet one. Listen, this could be your first date kind of outfit. Hello, everyone. I'm not gonna lie, yeah? I've been doing up bummy all week. All week I've been trying to get my dissertation done and sorted, finalised. I submitted it about an hour and 15 minutes ago. Like, honestly, like it's done and dusted now. Three years of my education done. I haven't been able to wear different clothes. Most of my clothes are still at uni. I don't know where my misguided order is though. That's quite... Mm. This is what I've been wearing all day guys. I literally just threw on a little bit of makeup just for this video and curled my hair guys. <laughs> I made a bit of an effort, you know. <laughs> I'm so excited to wear different clothes. So exciting. I haven't bought new clothes during lockdown. I've only bought a Supreme crew neck. I'm well excited to try this out. So this it is a cotton like flowy dress. I think with like a nice belt maybe with mama queens i think that's a solid outfit i don't actually have anything to play with i don't have like clothes to dress up these clothes with so this is part of the asos swim range and i thought this would be a nice like top that i could just throw on quite a nice fit like i know it's just not going to run down any further because it's quite tight on top here is it nice is the print a bit too much it's not very me is it because it's very floral and I'm not that of a girly girl, like literally. Have you seen me wear flowers before? So it's a little bit like thinner, more narrow at the back. And then at the front, you get a bit more material. Paired it with my Topshop mum jeans. It's very girly for me. It's not what I'd normally go for. 12 pounds and I got it in a size 10. I'm trying to really convince myself. I'm not convinced of the print, literally it's pretty, but it's just not for me, is it? It's just not my style. This top is really nice, it's really nice. I'm not too convinced about the back though, because it's got this ruche detailing, like I hope my nipples aren't showing. It starts off like this, right? You get it like this. And then what you can do is draw the strength up it's 18 pounds and I got it in a size 10. Right, 18 pounds, are you kidding me? Me, spending 18 pounds on a top? Mm, mm, mm. See, I find it really hard now because obviously I've tried to shift my way of thinking with spending money and every, I just view everything as expensive now. And so it's very hard to change my mind. Like, it's very hard to convince me to buy something. <sighs> Really nice gold jewellery. Oh my days, I'm selling it to myself. I don't think I can let this one go there because in New York, we went to MoMA, the MoMA Museum, and they had a New York Yankees nude coloured cap. I tried it on, fell in love, looked at the price tag, $30. I was like, hell no, am I paying $30 for a cap? I just thought it was a bit outrageous. And I've been trying to like, way out for one over here ever since. Like I've been trying to find a hat, kind of like a nude color for ages now. And suddenly it popped up on ASOS and I was like, hey ho, I'm getting that. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at the beautiful color. It goes really nicely with this top. What I'll do, I will put this on top of my head first and then I'll put the hat on so my makeup doesn't get onto it. Oh, guys, come on. What do you think? What do you honestly think? Pretend I don't have the plastic. <laughs> I look ridiculous with the plastic on. No, it goes really nice with my hair. It goes really nice with this outfit. Listen, this could be your first date kind of outfit. If you guys are oh, picnic in a park, yeah? Chuck this on, pair of shorts nice little bag, cap on, make it look well casual, pair of like com de garçon converse, you are sorted for your first date, honestly this would be so cute, with berries in your basket, sat down, like, honestly, I'm, I'm feeling myself right now, I'm feeling it, 
I'm keeping this hat by the way because look at the colourway, it's just peng. This one's a bit jokes in it, it's just a little bit jokes. I got it in a size 14 because that was the only size that they had left. I just thought it'd be really nice because I really like raw edge denim and it on the top and it being white denim as well. I just thought it'd be a really nice summer vibe. Maybe it'd be nice as a bikini like cover up because let's just say that if the wind let loose, you would be flying everywhere and your bits and bobs would be on show. Obviously it's in the size 14, um, but it's got this like closure at the back where it's just a button clasp, like the button, where it's just button and elastic. So I think it fits quite nice because obviously the way I have tied it is really tight and I initially put it on wrong and I was like, fuck this, I can't be bothered to undo the um, the knot that I've just tied. So I was just like, oh, just, just leave it. And then I kind of like had to twist it. So but if I wanted to, I could adjust it to make it tighter. I could make it tighter. This isn't actually supposed to fit that loose, I think. Caroline, you absolute idiot. It's not supposed to fit that loose. It's supposed to fit. Oh, I don't know. So the model, where is it like this? That's not me, that I don't look like that. <laughs> Obviously, she looks so nice. I wish it was a bit more raw. It's not as raw as it is on the image. Right, don't take the piss yet. My flabber's coming out of this. My flabber is coming out of this top. Bear in mind, this is a size 10. This is a PLT, slinky material, crop top thing but i thought it would be a nice outfit you could pair it and make it a nike like kind of like look but imagine i have a black blazer on top of this this would be an outfit with some nice gold jewelry with a cuban link chain do you know what i'm saying my prada bag that is a whole vibe in itself maybe a pair of clear heels that would be such a nice like mm -hmm. but here's the deal i'm sorry but it's just not flattering on me is it it's i've got flubber it's just not going to work out but these cycling shorts however let me just show you. These cycling shorts are lovely. These are Nike. They're a size small. They fit so high waisted and it has a thick waistband. I've never like had like Nike like thick material like leggings or anything before. I've only had like the Nike Pro and I don't really like Nike Pro. Um, well, it just, it just makes your body look banging like on the point. I love it and I love, I don't need another pair of cycling shorts. Like I'm a-okay with my Primark ones. I love the Primark cycling shorts, the moon and back, they're so good. And I bought about like five pairs. It's just got the nice little like Nike little patch there. Love that, love that for me. Um, I'm such a big fan of Nike anyway. And so when I saw that they had these cycling shorts, I was like, hey, I need that because I love Nike. Yeah, I haven't got a bottom. I've got nothing there behind me. <sighs> Where is my misguided order? I'm actually so sad I don't have my misguided order because then I could pair whatever top that I ordered to go with this. I don't know what to say about this one. I look like a shambles. Do I actually look that bad? I think I do. I like the material is lovely. I feel lovely in this material. It's cotton, which is really nice. How does the model wear it? The model had like a beige nudie headband and um, she looked really cute. The Queens gives me a little bit of height. Let's pretend that's my height. And let me just do the boogie boogie. Hmm. <clears throat> this is out of my comfort zone. This is not my style either. Quite short at the back. Here I've got a Sisters and Seekers utility um, belt in a nude colour. Gosh, was I that thin before? Bruh. Um, okay, this looks stupid now. It's because I don't have thin legs. If I had thin thighs and thin legs, I think a lot of people can get away with it. I just look short. Right, 
should we move on to the second bag of clothes? Oh, I bought quite a few tops because I'm working back here. I'm back at work now. I'll be back at work tomorrow morning at seven o'clock. And so, because I've got bummy clothes at home, it's just not acceptable to wear these kind of house clothes outside because some of them have holes in, some of them have like paint on. It just isn't acceptable. And most of my clothes are, like I said, at uni. I've got a bit more Nike. I've got like Nike tops. Yeah, Nike. I went a bit overboard with Nike. Right, so I've just got on my Primark cycling shorts. I've just got those on at the moment. And let's be real, I'm not going to be wearing a bra anytime soon, especially for a long shift. I am going to be doing that. Shall we just hit it off with the rest of the clothes? Um, I'll go with this Nike tee. This is just a plain black Nike tee. I think it's men's. I got it in a size extra small. We'll see what it's like with a pair of cycling shorts. But also, I did order um, ASOS's own like design workout leggings. And I also got some Nike what they called jogging bottoms so i've got that to try as well so i'm just gonna wear this tee and ideally i'd wear it with some cycling shorts but on the way to work i'd probably wear the nike joggers because then i can feel a bit more comfortable when i'm on my way to work the way i like to put on tops when I've got makeup on is i'll get like something that i don't mind getting dirty i'm gonna put it Around my face, so my cup doesn't catch on to the neck because I hate doing that. I want to do it that you refund. I really like it when the neckline is like close to my neck. I don't like it when it's like baggy, which I think this top has. I think the neck of this top is just a bit big. Here's me telling my friends I'm not gonna wear anything special. This isn't really anything special, but it's just it's a logo tee, isn't it? There we go. My days, if this was longer yet, it would be really cute as like a bodycon, like bodycon dress. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, look, because it like hugs your figure just like the way it is, but it's just an awkward length. Imagine if they had this in a bodycon. Oh, that would be such a summer vibe. This is a lady size small, it's in a loose fit. But we'll see what the neckline says. Um, my makeup's not gonna touch this. Literally have barely anything on my face anyway. Right, what are we saying then? Does it fit nice with the shorts? The problem I have with tops is, when you're doing the oversized kind of look, it doesn't cover your camel toe, because let's be honest, everyone gets a camel toe in um, cycling shorts. It's inevitable. So when I look for like oversized tops, I want them to be flattering at the same time, but also just cover this part. But what I really like is that detail. I really like the small little swoosh. I'm not too sure about the neckline. The neckline just isn't right. It's a bit thick. It, I'm not feeling it. If I'm not 100%, then I'm not keeping it. It's out with the Nike stuff. I, what is this white stuff? I don't know. I haven't got any de deodorant on or anything. Um, whilst I've been at home and not going outside, I've just stopped wearing deodorant. Okay, so this is in a size large. Mm, my face is going to get in it, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Right. It's a tight fitting material. Hmm. This would be a vibe. The Nike cycling shorts with this top would be such a vibe. It would look so cool. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I just think that that would just be so nice. Like, honestly, I would, I rate this top a lot. I think it was quite a bit of money though. I think it was 27 on in sale. I think it was 27 in the sale, which is quite a bit of money. If I had this in a medium, it would be tighter around here. And obviously when you're running, it wouldn't like move. But nonetheless, I really like the fit of this. I think it's really nice. Um, I don't feel like I'm suffocated or anything like that. And you could obviously wear a sports bra underneath for extra support. I actually really like it. I think on days where I'm not feeling too bloated or 
chubby because I get those days where I feel really big like it's an inevitable for me to ever feel comfortable in my body for like a week straight or like a couple days straight. I didn't really think that I would like this design here, but I think it just adds a different element to it. And it's got a different type of like, it's a bit different at the back. Can you see like, it's got like paneling there. I think this is a keeper for me because I like this all logo. Right, okay, so this top has Nike here which is like what they have on the website as it's viewed. But then it's also got just the Nike sign at the back like that also. I think this was like one of the only sizes left. I got it an extra large, but I still think it's gonna be quite cropped. I think this one's, someone's had this before me. I think someone's had it before me because it smells like them. It's, it smells like their house. <laughs> I don't look the prettiest when I'm trying on clothes. I will say that. Um, oh, hmm. What are we saying? What are we actually saying with this? I didn't think I would like that, but unless you read it, you wouldn't know that it was Nike. It's not in your face. Look, I'm wearing Nike. It doesn't look like actual writing. It looks more symbolic. It's quite flattering because it doesn't cut me like right off where my, I don't know, it gives me a little bit of figure. I know that I said about the camel toe thing earlier, but sometimes you just got to have a crop top that l allows you to look like you're not bigger but let me just move it around ow my neck vice versa what we say now we're saying oh <laughs> just see the tag there um then you can alternate sides guys you wouldn't have to just stick with okay the fit is a little bit different regardless you could have two tops in one with this top i looked over do you know what i found i found this what did, did this just come with it? Like, cause I didn't order it and I don't, ASOS don't do food, do they? So they've just given you this for free. Are you having a laugh? For, for free. free. Raw twinings, you know, twinings. Okay. That's coming to work with me tomorrow. Oh, I don't have my reusable bottle with me. Oh, oh my gosh. Everything is literally in bath. Passion fruit, mango and blood orange. You know me that well. Oh my days. Do you know what I'm saying? Like this, this is a, this would be a really good flavor if I knew how it tasted. If it was like the perfect strength. That's a, mm, okay. Okay, so back to the leggings, back to the leggings. So the leggings, they are saying really good things. I actually fit them as well. I had to actually get my foot through the, the leg holes though. Do you ever get that with jeans as well? You have to get your foot through. It's either your thighs or like your foot that has to go through the holes. Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking. This has a really nice thick waistband. It's really nice and it's really opaque as well. Bear in mind, I'm wearing a pair of Calvins underneath. And so normally, you know, Calvins, they have like that band where it's white and it says Calvin Klein, blah, 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 like all around. You cannot see that. You cannot see the color of my um, underwear either. Okay, it doesn't help with the bum situation because I ain't got one anyway, so I don't know why you're looking. But, honestly, I think they're going to be coming to work with me. I think I'll wear them tomorrow because they feel really comfortable and they come up at such a good length as well. I normally get a leg 30 in jeans because I like them to literally sit on top of my ankle. I like to show that little bit of skin like in between your shoe and your ankle. Do you know what I mean? Like I haven't got the t longest legs ever. I'm really quite stubby looking. Um, I think I've got a longer torso than I do leg. Um, but honestly, they're really nice. The length is really nice. They're really thick. Squat test. Um, I can't really see what happened there, but we'll have to actually replay whatever happened there. They are really, really cheap and cheerful. I really like them. I don't think I'll even bother trying on the other pair because these this pair fits me perfectly. I love the waistband. It really does like, suck me in. And I was gonna do an Amazon order because they do really nice, like thick looking leggings. But yeah, honestly, I think I'll keep that. Right, these jogging bottoms. Hmm. I don't think I'm feeling them. I don't think I, I want to pay £35 for it just to say Nike 
there. I, the material is quite thin. I think it would be good for summer, obviously. It's a little bit warmer now, but 35 pounds. And plus ASOS were doing this thing, right, where you weren't allowed to use your student discount on sportswear. What am I supposed to do with my pretty pennies? Let me show you a thing or two. Where, where's the pockets? No, nah, okay, that officially can't run now. These can't run, I'm not running with these. I'm not going anywhere with these. These are not okay for me then, I will not be keeping them. Anything that don't have pockets then, you're ultimately just not gonna go in my basket. I didn't know they didn't have any. This, how am I supposed to stand? I'm just gonna be there like, hi. It's a bit awkward. Also, can we just, nah, it's giving me camel toe already. But to be honest with you, I'm not paying 35 pounds for no pockets. Uh -uh. Are you kidding me? Like, nah. These are my sisters, yeah? But Nike weren't joking when they were talking about swoosh. Because these give you the swoosh when you walk. Literally, I was so embarrassed to wear them that day as well. It was an overnight shift at work and all you could hear was, Oh, where's Caroline? Hang on. Yeah, it just wasn't good, but these have pockets at least. They have pockets and they look really cool at the same time. Whereas these, no. Alternatively, you know what I am gonna wear instead? These are Primark. I really recommend them because they've got pockets, but only thing it is, the material ruins really fast. And so you're gonna have to get a debobbler to debobble all of that. They fit like a dream and those are five pounds. I can get seven of those for the price of these. This is like girl version of Roadman. Hang on, let me just. Well, let me tell you something. Excuse me. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, sweet one. <laughs> nah, say no more. Say no more. Say no more more okay so ladies and gentlemen that concludes my haul i hope you enjoyed i hope you liked seeing what i i bought because honestly I, I was excited too i literally ordered everything and i plopped it down on the floor i waited out as a reward for my dissertation for all my efforts at university i have finished three years of university now well hey but i'm how am I supposed to do my little photo shoot for my dissertation? Like, how am I supposed to be like, hey, with no clothes? Where are my misguided clothes? I was gonna do a little photo shoot and be like, dissertation, but I can't now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got a little bit of something, something out of this. Um, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.